Hi everybody, Sharon here from the Craft Cabin. So today I am going to do a quick video using the Julie Hickey mask and stencil set, the Christmas one, which is from her latest release, along with the Christmas Border A6 stamp and also Uncharted Mariner in Distress Oxide and Distress Ink. So to start with, you'll see that I have cut um, a tent fold card. This is my favourite use of card. Uh, cut it at ten and a half centimetres across the short side. Fold it in half and then you've got this really lovely tent fold card that um, sits beautifully over string at Christmas but I tend to do all my cards in this um, shape just because because I like it so we're going to start off with a piece of A6 card which is the same size as my template as uh, sorry as my card base and we are going to cut that down after we've um, done our distress oxide to start with so this is Uncharted Mariner and I am going to use this in both oxide and ink as well. So we're going to do some stamping in ink too. So I'm going to go all over the bottom layer of my card. So I'm using a blending brush. You can use cut and dry foam. You can use um, stencil brushes, anything you've got. I just find actually that the um, the blending tools, they work themselves into those, especially the fine areas of this stencil really well. So you might find once you actually start having a good old look that you might want to just go over the areas that are particularly um, small and they've got sort of more detail so you need to concentrate a little bit more on those areas just to make sure that you get into all those all those little crevices so if you find it easier you can always um, Use some Sweet Poppy low tack tape. Pull that back, just check. Yeah, lovely, I'm pleased with that. So, there is our distressed oxide base. Now, I am going to cut that down slightly because obviously, as I said, that is the same size as my base card, which is here. Okay. Um, I want that to be, I want it to have a little border. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten it up slightly because I've stenciled on it at a slight angle. So I'm going to use that bottom bit, that Christmas, as my guide. So I think I just need a tiny, tiny bit more for there just to straighten that up. And then let's bring that down just slightly. Okay, then I'm going to turn it that way and I'm going to take a piece off there, piece off that side, piece off this side and that straightens all of that up for me. Okay, there we go, okay, let's move that out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to go back into this and again with my oxide, I am just going to create a nice soft border. So just very gently around those edges. Okay. 
and then we're going to go around all four sides and I like to do that this with most of my cards because it just softens those edges stamp. I might have to put that. There we go. I have to put that on at an angle. Okay, so let's just ink that up. And to ink this up, I'm using the Distress Ink. Okay, this is a stronger colour than the oxide. Should we have it that way or should we have it this way? I think we'll have it this way. And I'm just going to pop it over like so. And then I've just had a thought. <coughs> I think I'm going to throw some embossing powder over the top. Okay, look at that. That's lovely. Okay, so I just want to make it stand out just a little bit more. So I'm going to add some embossing powder just to the bottom. Okay, and pop that back. And before I heat it, I'm just going to add in a nice snowflake. And again, I'm going to ink this up with my Distress ink, not my oxide, this is with my ink, and I'm going to add a snowflake to there, let's put our embossing powder on, be careful not to knock the powder off of the, um, the area at the bottom. I probably, if I was doing this and I had lots and lots of time, I would um, heat them as I did them. But I'm not gonna do each one whilst I'm on here just because it takes, takes up quite a bit of time. So again, there we go, that's my two and of course as always having to do things in threes so I'm just because I've not got a lot of room left there I'm just going to add a bit of a stencil there look at that super I'm loving this already so let's flip that down put all our embossing powder away we'll get rid of that piece of card because that's a bit a bit um a bit powdery and bring that back in grab my heat gun and we are going to heat that so it pretty much forms a resist so let's get our heat gun up to up to heat Make sure we haven't got any powder where we don't want it. We're good to go. We're just going to heat all those areas now. Thank you. 
again. Okay. And where I'm going in you'll see that it actually doesn't sit on top of where I've used the embossing ink and heated. Okay. It just that has created a resist. So my snowflakes are gonna actually show up much, much better. So we can bring that color in even further. Okay, so I'm just gonna very lightly go over where my snowflakes are. All the detail okay there we go and even though we've got all that going on over the top you can still see the Christmas underneath taking a soft um, a soft wipe as baby wipe, not baby wipe because that's too wet so you want a piece of kitchen roll nice soft towel and just buff up those areas where you've put the embossing and that will just bring them back to life a little bit but there we go so hopefully you can see that they stand out so much better now I'm going to grab a white gel pen and I'm just going to do a little bit of white work now I always think when you do white work on a card it really brings it to life so I'm not going to do too much The knack with these gel pens is not to push too hard. I think when they don't work, we all tend to sort of push a bit harder, don't we? To make them work. But actually, the lighter your touch, the better they work. There we go. I'm just going to bring, actually, let's carry on going round on this side. Okay, there we go. And hopefully you can see the difference that makes. It just gives it a little bit of dimension. I'm just going to swap over my pens because I think that one might be a bit on the dry side. I've got so many different gel pens, honestly. There we go. Just take that one up. We do the same with this one. See, you're pushing too hard, lighten it up and it comes out. You could use a Posca pen for this as well. If you've got a nice light Posca pen, you could use you could use that as well. Let's try this. Okay. 
Okay. And then we'll just add a little bit in here. There we go. And I'll tell you what else I want to put on here. I want some white splats. And I like creating my white splats with my big, you can use a Posca pen, you can use a Uniball. I just like to give it a bit of a bash. And it gives me just a few nice dots. Oh, and a bit of a splat. There you go, around the edge of my card there. Okay, so the last thing that's left to do, and I'm going to take, I better make sure that I get my piece of card and not my card blank. Let's just pop this to one side for the moment. Flip this over. And I'm going to be using Happy Christmas, I think. Let's take this one off of here. And I'm going to set this up. So I've got Christmas first, like so. And again, I'm going to be using my Distress Ink. The thing I like about this is that it doesn't always stamp perfectly, but that's absolutely cool by me because I quite like my things to be a bit, a bit quirky. There we go. And then we're going to put in, let's pop that just in the middle there. So that's our, oh, do you know what? I've done that wrong, haven't I? I've done the Christmas right at the top. Okay, let's start again. Actually, 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 let's leave it as it is because we can cut them down and then we'll have two. So let's do our happy here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take my, I'd like to say my trimmer, but it's, it's not a trimmer, it's a great big chopper. So I'm just going to cut that down and cut these to the size that I want. There we go. So we've got our happy and we've got our Christmas. Now, of course, we need to add a little bit of edge into that because obviously it's it's far too um Far too plain like that. We need to blend that in a little bit and look what a difference that makes. Straight away, you can see how much better that looks. See what a difference it makes. I just think it just totally finishes off everything. Okay. There we go. So we've got our happy Christmas. Now I do want to also add, again, a bit of white gel pen to the edge of that. You can't see it very well, but it is there. And by adding a little bit along that, just gives it a bit of dimension. Okay. So... I'm going to pop these onto foam pads. So I tend to use foam sheets only because I don't get any waste out of these and they they last to use every single every single bit of it and I can cut them to size which is just fabulous. So I'm going to put some foam on there and a bit of foam either side of there. So 
So let's decide where we want our happy. Merry Christmas. So let's see, we put that one there. That one there, yeah. Now, I actually want to make those stand out just a little bit more. So I'm going to take my stickles and I think I might just have a little bit left in here. That I can just pop. Just around those two edges and that will just make them pop pop out now thinking about it I probably should have done that at the end <laughs> because I now want to stick this down but I'm sure we can work around it if we're really careful so let's get our double-sided tape on the back okay we're going to peel that off make sure it's stuck down first peel that off making sure that we don't touch our sentiment okay now, taking my card blank, I'm going to stand over and look down onto that. And then pop that down. Let's just move all of that out of the way. Take these. Okay, and there you have a really pretty well, I think a really pretty Christmas cards. Okay, and what you could do is you could make up a batch so you could make all those backgrounds um, to start with. So let me just bring that a little bit forward for you. There we go. Happy Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. It's my first one for YouTube. So um, please give me any feedback. Be really great to hear. And thank you so much for watching.